Hey guys, welcome to another Java knowledge sharing session. In this video, we will discuss about what is inheritance in Java along with some examples. Also, we will discuss about the types and why do we need to use inheritance. So inheritance is a mechanism by which one class is allowed to inherit the fields and methods of another class. It supports the concept of reusability. That is when we want to create a new class and there is already a class present that includes some of the code that we want to use in our new class. We can inherit our new class from the existing class. By doing this, we are reusing the non-private fields and methods of the existing class. In this case, the existing class is known as parent class and the new class that we are inheriting from the parent class is known as child class. In Java, we use extends keyword to inherit parent class in child class. Also, inheritance represents the is a relationship, which is also known as parent child relationship between two different classes. So let's try to understand this concept with an example. So here I have a class bicycle which is having properties as the number of gears and the speed of the bicycle. Here you can see I have few methods written as well. First one is display details. What it is returning? It is returning a string value. And in that string, it is returning how many number of gears are there for that specific object of bicycle and what is the current speed of the bicycle. In addition to that, I have uh, two other methods one is known as speed up and one argument is passed as value this will increase the speed of bicycle object by the value whichever we will be passing and similarly we have a slowdown method which you can consider it as a braking so just opposite to speed up it will decrease the speed of bicycle and in the end, we have a constructor, which is a parameterized constructor. So here we are passing gears and speed as arguments and setting the instance variables to those fields with the values that we are passing. So now you can see this is a very standard Java class that we have with the private uh, properties and public methods. So suppose there is a requirement to have a custom bicycle where we can define its height. So one way will be to define all these methods and properties in that custom bicycle also and add additional property which is height. The second way is the code reusability that we will be doing using inheritance. So this is our custom bicycle class and as discussed in the beginning we use extends keyword and whatever class we write on the right hand side of extend keyword all the non-private methods and properties of this that class will be automatically accessible through uh, the extending class itself. So now you can see I have only declared height in this case because by extending bicycle class automatically the gears and speed component and other methods are also uh, inherited in custom bicycle class. So here in this class you can see I have only written a method to set the height whatever height value we will be passing and in the display class you can see I am only using this height instance variable to append to an output which will be coming from the parent class. So you can see super keyword is used here. Super keyword is used to access the methods of parent class. So if I uh, press control and hover this component, it will act as a hyperlink. And when I click on this, you can say it has opened the parent display detail method. So this is how the parent display detail method, it will return the number of gears and speed. And additionally, what we are doing, we are appending the height to the same output that we will see when we run the program. And if you see in the constructor, we have another parameterized constructor here. We are passing gears, speed and height. But you can see we cannot set gears and speed in this class because they are not explicitly declared here. So what we will do, we will again use super keyword and call the constructor of the parent class by passing gears and speed. 
one thing to be noticed here a new object of the parent class will not be created but the memory will be allocated to its uh, all the members so that the object of child class can use those uh, particular members and after allocating the memory to the members of parent class uh, in this constructor itself we are uh, setting the height value as it is uh, for this specific object now let's go to the main class and see how we are creating the object and accessing the components so here i am creating an object of custom bicycle by passing all these three values gears speed and uh, height so with this it will uh, call the constructor of custom bicycle which in turns will pass the gears and speed value and call the parent constructor and after setting up these values and allocating the memory it will again return back to the custom bicycle constructor and set the value of height as well and in the end what we are printing using the custom bicycle object i'm calling the display detail if i go here it will go to the display detail of custom bicycle which in turns again call the parent method of dis display details to display the gears and speed details as well so let's try to execute this class and here you can see first param constructor called in the bicycle class to set the first two values and then param constructor of the custom bicycle is called and in the end you can see uh, in the custom bicycle we have only printed height from here and other details like number of gears and current speed that is coming from the parent class now let's try to call one more method from the parent class using the child class which is uh, to speed up so currently we are passing speed as 20 and uh, we have also seen that speed 20 was printed on the console now we want to increase the speed and uh, let's see after printing the details uh, if we are getting the increased speed or not let's just save the program and execute it so here you can see earlier the speed was 20 and now if you see on the second time printing the details of object the speed is 30 so using this you can see we are able to access the parent class speed up method as well to update the speed value now moving to the next topic which is types of inheritance in java on the basis of class there can be three types of inheritance in java first is single inheritance so in single inheritance when a class is extending only one another class that is known as single inheritance in this case you can see we have a class a and a class b and in class a all the non-private members will be inherited to class b that is known as single inheritance second is multi-level inheritance here you can see we have class a b and c and class b is inheriting from class a and class c is inheriting from class b so in this way c will also be able to inherit the members of uh, class a as a part of multi-level inheritance the last one is hierarchical inheritance so in this uh, like there are uh, two different classes inheriting from a single class so both class b and c will have members of class a inherited inside them there can there is one more type which is a hybrid uh, inheritance which is almost similar to the hierarchical one so in that class there will be uh, another class class d which will be inherited from class b and class c one more type of inheritance is there but that is not allowed in uh, java so why that multiple inheritance is not supported in java so java does not allow this multiple inheritance where a class can inherit properties from more than one class so as you can see using extends keyword we can only mention a single class we cannot mention multiple class after the extends keyword this is also known as diamond problem the solution to diamond problem is usage of default methods in interfaces 
classes cannot extend multiple classes but a class can implement multiple interfaces where it can provide the implementation of its own behavior the main diamond problem uh, arises because if uh, a class a is inheriting from class b and c and class b and c both have their own implementation of a same method then there will be ambiguity in a like which method to call that is why this multiple inheritance is not allowed in java that's it for this video in our next tutorial we will explore polymorphism so if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any new update in case of any suggestion please do comment